All right, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. What is happening there, Cog Squad? Well, some of y'all may know, some of y'all may not, depending on if you watch your shorts or reels, but yesterday I came out here to feed the boys and y'all, it looks like they had a wild time in the boys' pasture. I mean, it looks like a hay bomb went off. Look at this. Y'all, look. Look, we got the hay cradle standing straight up as if Moody went surfing in it or thought it was uh, a bull and decided he wanted to do a little bull riding. And look at the hay. It's everywhere, Moody. It's everywhere. Look, we got a nice pile here. Got what's left of the roll or hay bale right here, the round hay bale. This hadn't happened before. No, it hasn't, has it, buddy? We've been feeding you hay for over a year, but... For some reason, you decided to flip the hay cradle over. And I'm pretty sure it was you. Um, I can probably eliminate top 100%. And 99.999%, I can eliminate Joe over there. I know I can. Unless, unless some mystery cow or steer came in here, or Tex came over here, uh, and Lester didn't know it, and flipped the hay bale over and um, wanted me to point all the fingers towards you. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was you, wasn't it, buddy? Huh? <laughs> I don't know exactly what went on over here. I really don't. But we gotta figure something out, don't we? We gotta figure out if we can anchor this thing down. Now, my initial thoughts was T-post and drive t post in the ground and we may end up having to do that but i got some anchors let me show you what i got moody tell me you tell me what you think oh my gracious y'all if it ain't one thing it's another with them boys ain't it whoo all right let me show you guys what i got here what's up nuggy did you see what went on over here and you didn't make a single arrest sheriff i mean not one sheriff slacking i believe what we got move we got these right here and these are from an old shed that we still have but we got a bunch of them and i'm thinking about maybe putting these down on it instead of the t-post the t-post i'd have to strap to it some kind of way these i can just put on that bottom bar and what do you think i guess we'll see when we get in there won't we yeah Oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys, oh, boys. Now, here's our other thing. We got a slight little dilemma, per se, and that is, well, really two things. Number one, y'all saw in the last video when I had to repair this pipe that had started leaking, and I had Nugget trying to help me the entire time, and I just didn't want him to get in the way and get hurt or eat something he wasn't supposed to eat or something like that. Well, Moody's kind of the same situation. He's going to be interested in what I'm doing, but instead of me accidentally hurting him, he may accidentally hurt me because he's, he's, he's a big boy. Uh, last time the vet came, uh, Dr. D, I think we estimated anywhere from 13 to 1,600 pounds. Doesn't take much just him to sling his head, you know, the wrong way and knock you out. I just got to be careful around him. I just, uh, that's my other dilemma. Now, I can go feed, and he'll be over there occupied with the feed, but it's going to be a limited time. You know what I mean? It's not going to be something that's going to be super quick. So I got these. I need to go grab a sledgehammer, feed them, and see if I can get this thing bolted down without any interruption from my 1,600-pound pet steer who thinks he's a three pound puppy dog and then get a new bell of hay in there because this right here that bell of hay was $55 so now you know we're kind of out 55 bucks there this is going to be an interesting day I can tell y'all almost as interesting as this pipe over here Oh, 
Also, we're gonna give him a little treat because I have found that cows can eat carrots. So we're gonna give him a little carrots on top of his feed and maybe that'll buy me just a little bit more time here. What you think, Gidget? What you think, hmm? You want a carrot? I better not give you a carrot. But Moody's gonna get some carrots. And I got my little sledgehammer. I got my big sledgehammer. Oh, let's give this a whirl, y'all. I, I think I forgot to mention earlier, and I think I said I had two issues that, and I got talking about Nugget, how he likes to get all in my business, is that y'all know Crazy Joe loves Nugget. And so I don't want them to get out while we're getting in the gate. But also Capri's in heat and Crazy Joe knows it and Capri knows it. So he is full fledged 100% hormonal right now. And uh, once I get this thing fixed with hopefully fingers crossed with no issues, and we bring the new Bella Hay in here that he don't shoot out and we have to chase a stinky, crazy, hormonal 200 pound goat. But hopefully everything goes well. Ain't that right, Moo? Huh? Ain't that right, buddy? All right, let's get you fed. And we'll go with that. Oh, I got you a surprise today, too. We got you some carrots. I never give any carrots before. I actually got these for Nugget. I'm gonna chop them up and give them the Nugget. And I said, you know what? I bet cows can have carrots, and they can. Let's see if he'll eat a carrot right off the bat. Here you go. You want a carrot? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. You want a carrot? No, you don't want the carrot? Try it, you may like it. Good stuff, good for your eyes too, yeah. Really good for your eyes. At least that's what they always told us, ain't it? You like that? I think you like it. You gotta be on your best behavior. So I, I gotta get this hay cradle down, okay? We don't need any foolishness, okay? Gotta get it down. All right, let's get your carrots in there. All right, I'm not ready. I wanna get all my tools ready before I make a mad dash in there so I'm gonna get everything that needs to be used ready. I'm gonna set it right by this gate. Right by the gate, Moody. Right, let's get my gloves right there. And stakes. All right, we got our big sledgehammer right here. And our little sledgehammer. I think we're ready. All right, buddy, you ready? All right, let's eat. Let's eat. You ready to eat, boys? All right, Moo Man, here we go. All right, let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go, boys. All right, guys, there you go. All right, let's get to work. I didn't expect y'all to come over here at all. You know what? I did not expect y'all. Figured y'all would go eat. Here's the thing, this ground is harder than hard. I can tell y'all. So far, so good. All right, that ain't budging. That's the thing, man, this ground is harder. We just ain't had much rain. That makes it that much worse. All right, Moody's still eating. This is going way faster 
than I ever thought about. Moody's still eating. We got one more left. And I do think the carrots helped out, y'all. I really do. The boys finally left me alone. And they're doing what they do. So, let's keep going. All right, I got them in. And look, just in time, look who's done. Now he's gonna go over there and see if the goats left anything. They left a little bit. It's usually not much. He's gonna eat that up. All right. Hopefully this solves our problem. I guess we'll know in a couple of days. Yeah. Ugh. I'll tell you, that went way smoother than I thought, Moody. I'm not gonna lie. Way smoother. Woo. All right. I beat the clock and got those things pounded in before, before he could do anything. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm a little skeptical of them. I'm not gonna lie, I really am. Um, my gut feeling says that either I'm gonna have to pound those things in daily or eventually he's just gonna rip them up. If he continues to do this, we got some pretty heavy wind today. We got a little storm system coming in this afternoon. And uh, I'm glad this went so smooth because I was worried that we we're going to have to try to, it's a timing issue. Now, we got to get the hay in there without these guys getting out. Yeah, that sounds easy, but we got to open up the gate all the way. So, all right, we shall see. And see, just like that, see? He just turned that over, but he's turned that over because top feed is under there. Get back, buddy. Get back. There ain't no feed in there. You're going to tear their picnic table up. Matter of fact, look how far you done pushed it. We need to move this thing, man. Watch out, Top. I don't want you pushing this thing into the fence. Top said he ain't leaving. Easy. Look out with your big leg. Move your leg, Moody. I'll quit that. Move your big leg, fool. Come on, Top. Get out from under there. There you go. Now. Here, have you some hay. Have you some hay on me. All right, so Brooke's gone to get her tractor. I can hear it crank up now. I gotta go put the hay spear on it and grab that hay bale. I got it in the horse trailer. Here we go. You ready? I am, but they are too. I know they are. And we got thief, uh, Capri and Heat. Joe may try to sneak out. So it's gonna, I want to go around and grab some animal crackers. I think they're gonna try to follow the, the um, hay, hay bale. Okay. If we open it to the inside. Okay. I got some carrots I'm gonna give to Moody. Okay. And um, maybe he'll go over there and that'll get us in the gate. Okay. And I think once we get the hay in there, Moody's not gonna worry about getting out. I think he's gonna be wanting yeah. to play in the hay because you know how he is is when he gets a new bill of hay, he likes to play in it. So I think that's what's gonna happen. That's our plan. Nothing goes wrong. <laughs> All right, see, yeah, here he comes. Here he comes. All right, big daddy. Let's get you here. And get you occupied with some carrots. Yeah. Maybe just a little bit of feed, not much. Just a little bit. All right, gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Get back, Joe. Get back, Joe. Jason. Get back, Joe. 
Get back, Joe. Get back, Joe. Get back, Joe. Look at Joe ramming it with his head. He's butting it. He's crazy. We need a horn. Joe, leave it alone, Joe. You crazy? All right, I gotta cut this thing. Oh, here, here, it comes. here comes Moody. Time to play. Watch him. Oh my gracious. You like playing in it, don't you, buddy? Yeah, he rubs all in it. It's always on a fresh bell. Yeah. Whoa, man, there's a hay spear there, fool. <laughs> Goodness gracious. I don't want him to hit the hay spear. I don't either. I'm going to turn it down. Okay. That's better. That's better. <laughs> All right. Now I got to try to keep these boys and everybody in. All right. Let me give you some more. I ain't got no more carrots, so I'm out. Gas on it. They look like the Duke boys. Woohoo! I got the, uh, I need to put the front on it too. I got it. Except he is crazy right now. I don't know if I can get in there and put that thing on or not. What do you think? Well. Or should I wait this evening and throw it on her this evening when I feed the second time? It's probably going to be raining. So you think I'm going to try it now? I was thinking maybe we could air his ball up. Uh-huh. And see if he may be interested in that. Okay. That could serve as a play toy rather than the hay cradle. All right, we'll do that. The the and the only reason that uh well several reasons but Mildred Mildred sees that hay and she thinks she needs it but she's got a bale. That's what's crazy. They like little children. Um, was that the ball kept going flat and the little the little thing in it keeps coming out. I don't know if it's because he's just so rough with them or well, what. Well, we know it's gonna eventually yeah. pop and it's not gonna last. But well, I'm it wouldn't think... pop. Just the valve comes out of it. It holds the air in. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's what it falls out, and you can't find it I in the pasture. I thought it was pop. No, and you lose it. And, but we do got an extra ball. So I'll just go buy a bunch of replacement valves. And, uh, Moody, do you want your ball back? And I also was a little worried about the electric netting. If he pushed the ball into it, it would just pull it, pull it down, and everybody would get out. And then the fruit trees would get eaten. And, uh... Moody. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> He's just like a puppy. He's, He's just full like a puppy. of energy and he just, you know, doesn't realize his strength. No, he doesn't realize his strength. Well, he's a youngling. And yeah, people see him, they think he's a big old boy, but he's just two. He's just two. All right, buddy, let's put your ball back in there and see what you think about it, okay? No more playing with the hay ring, okay? Let's go play some basketball, Moo Man. All right, here we go. Basketball time, Moo Man. Ooh! <clears throat> All right, go. It popped for real. He's oh. looking at it like, oh no. That didn't last, did it? My no, gracious. I mean, it popped. I heard it. Well, I got the thing on. He's disappointed. We'll have to give him another one. We'll get the valve out of that one. Yeah. So we can use it for one of the ones that he did have. That'll work. And they also make that smaller one too that's got the handle on it. Uh-huh. And uh. It, um, I think it's a lot tougher than those. 
Joe. That is not your boyfriend. Joe, don't butt him there. Goodness gracious. Mm. All right, Moody. We'll have to get you another ball. And you know what I'm thinking, too? What? Well, we might as well go on and let the cat out of the bag and tell everybody that we're going to give Mildred a little party because she is one year old. That's right. And we'll buy her a ball, too. That's a good idea. And so, um... I don't know if Mildred will be interested. But we'll see. I thought I thought she may like it. So, you know, when I put that pumpkin in there, she was so curious about she, it. That, she was trying to roll it. So I'm thinking that uh, we'll get her a ball, too, for her birthday. Joe said, what about him? Could he have a ball? Look at him. Sorry, Moody. Sorry, Moody. We'll get you another one, buddy. He looks like a sad <laughs> little puppy. It's okay, buddy. We're going to go get you another one, okay? But look, at least you got your hay cradle back. Yeah. No more drama during the night. Yes. Right? Good boy. <laughs> yeah, good give boy. Me, give me a lick. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get a lick. Uh, oh my gracious, it's all the way around my hand. <laughs> Look, and it, it's like a cat tongue times a hundred. It is, it is. I if mean, you, you leave it there red? long enough, Look it at, will rub you raw. Look at how red my, yeah. oh Moody, we love you. We do love me, man. All right, let's go put it in there with them girls. Mildred is over here fussing at us anyway. She saw them get a hay, new hay bale. She thinks she needs one, even though they got one back yonder. They ain't through eating. Like, here she leaves, she is. <laughs> what y'all got me? What you think, Mildred? Now, how easy was that, hmm? Did it go to waste? And you guys think y'all got something new. Look at there. Animals, you honestly, ain't much different than people, are they? Like new things. Yeah, like to be loved on. And like to sleep. <laughs> ain't that right, buddy? Huh? Ain't that right? Yeah. What's up, girls? Hmm? Hey, Fifi. What's up? I don't have any. I don't have any animal crackers, y'all. No, I think y'all already had some this morning. Yeah, so y'all were trying to trick me into thinking y'all didn't, but I know y'all did. Oh, there goes some pigeons. Y'all look at the pigeons flying. That wind's got them flying crazy this morning. But yeah, I know that y'all have had some. Okay, okay, I can't take that look. I gotta give y'all some animal crackers. All right, here y'all go. Mildred, you want an animal cracker? Mildred's not a big fan, honestly. I mean, she thinks she wants one, but then when she gets it, it's like, eh, it's okay. Here y'all go. All right, Mildred. Mildred said it's on now. All right, now. Now I know you guys are happy. Yeah. I, I just noticed that they have pushed the, the busted ball over here close to the fence and I can just reach through here and get it on out now. I can't believe he busted. I think this is actually the first one that he's ever really busted or popped. Hey, what you think? You think that hay rack's gonna stay like that? Or do you think they gonna, or you they, ain't no they to it. You think Boo Man's gonna knock it over? How about this time you report it to me? Yeah, you are the sheriff. If it happens again, you know, or in the middle of the act, maybe send me a text, call me, something, okay? Sure would appreciate that, you know. Oh yeah, Mildred's having a, a birthday party, so tomorrow, be there or be square. We'll have grapes, tomatoes, blueberries, and carrots. How about that? <laughs>